Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, who or what are you relying on for strength, for protection, or for help? Uh, I know some of you, when I said, hey, what are you relying on for protection? Right away, you're thinking Glock <laughs> or Winchester or something like that. Uh, it, you know, some of you are saying, hey, strength, uh, you know what? I rely on myself. I work out. I take care of myself. I'm strong. Some of you for help are thinking, dial 911, get some help. And, and all of those are legitimate answers. But the psalmist had a different answer because King David in Psalm 18 said his strength was God. Listen to this. It's, it's beautiful. He says, I love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised and I am saved from my enemies. Now that's just the opening chorus of Psalm 18. It's a rather long psalm. And, and he's saying, look, God is my rock. He's my stability. He's my foundation for everything that I do. God is my fortress. He, he's a safe place. He's a refuge from attacks from the enemy. He says, God is my deliverer. That God is the one who rescues me, who comes to my aid when I'm desperate and I need help. He says, God is my shield. In other words, he's the one who protects me from the things that are going on. You think about a shield and a warrior, it's protecting him from the arrows and from the blows of the enemy. He says, look, God's protecting me. And then he says, God is the horn of my salvation, which doesn't make sense to us at all because we're somebody that you are thinking jazz band and you're thinking trumpet. And now a horn in the Old Testament is a symbol of strength. Think more like rhino and what that symbolizes, the power and the might that goes with that. Uh, and then he ends it again by saying, the Lord is my stronghold. He's my fortress. Again, he's that place of refuge, that place where I can find safety. And the end result, he says, is I'm going to praise God because I am saved from my enemies. I'm saved from my enemies. So David put his trust in God. And the psalm goes on to tell you why he trusts in God. Because, first of all, he recalled what God had done in the history of Israel. He, he talked about the great power of God demonstrated in the Exodus event and, and the way that God had rescued and redeemed his people. And, and then, of course, David uh, could rely on remembering what God had done in his own life, how he had been with him in difficulty, how he had delivered him in battle, how he had won the victories. And so he could trust in God. He could trust in God to protect him, to be his fortress, to be his shield, to be his rock, to be his deliverer. All of those things. And he closes with uh, this refrain. Well, it's not the actual end of the psalm, but it's pretty close. Verse 46. A lot of songs have been written using this verse. He says, The Lord lives, and blessed be my rock, and exalted be the God of my salvation. So no matter what kind of attacks you're under, no matter what kind of enemies you're facing, no matter what kind of fears you have, put your trust in God. And, and just praise him because he is the God of your salvation and he will not let you go. We know that because Jesus has saved us. I hope that encourages you and I hope you have a day that is excellent because you're trusting in the rock.